Hi there everyone, this is Tevrian. I am here with the first of several tutorials for Eranor. This is a text-based game, and we're just going to get right into it, shall we? Now, as you can see, this is the home page. Just go to Eranor.com, that's E-R-E-N-O-R. -E go to Log On after you create your character. Alright, so after you log in, you'll uh, get to our... Uh, our welcome screen you'll be presented with a few options go to character page uh, go to the forums chat room mute the audio uh, all pretty uh, self-explanatory at, at the bottom if you're in an airship you can see the note that your officer or your captain has set if you want to continue on just click the character page button alright now the first time you see this you might be a little confused I know it's a lot of information but let's try to break it down shall we alright so the top right up here this is your skill bar and your item bar the first two as you can see are your offense and defense weapon now if you hover over them you can see the name or if you click them you can see a description so this is a simple dagger now these two are your spells, your passive and your active spells. If you click them, uh, you can see what they do as well. Alright, we'll get more on that later. Let's keep going down the page. On the left hand side uh, is our nav, uh, our nav bar. Pretty simple. We'll get to that later as well. Let's go to the right. You can see your name, your class, which you should already know. A brief description of your character. Uh, right now, um, I am not on a quest line. If uh, if I was, you would see a quest here. In fact, this is uh, the only reason there isn't uh, a quest name here is because uh, this is a uh, a modified account. But even you should always be able to see something there. All right, so we have pay grade, skill tree, mining abilities, temple ward, and the chandlery. We'll go to pay grade first. And here you can basically choose how much money you make per half day. So you start off as a private, and if you get the uh if you meet the requirements, level one, one turn, one kill, then you'll get one hundred shekels per half day. And normally there'd be a promotion button. And you can keep getting a promotion all the way up to staff sergeant which is 5,000 shekels per half day. Now income is uh, it's pretty important in the game. You use it to buy quite a few things. Uh, income, uh, it's not as important as attacking other players or in farming, but it can still, it's a good way to start off. Huh? Alright, then let's go to abilities. And uh, I told you we'd get back to this, and, and here we are. These, these are basically all the abilities you can uh, use, and they'll be different depending on your class. I am a Magister, so I have some uh, interesting uh, magical and engineering abilities. On the left are active spells. These are ones that will uh, really affect you in combat. And on the right is uh, passive spells. And these have a 30% chance to activate, most of them. And they do things like uh, increase your defense by 50% or something like that. And the other, and like I said, the ones on the left are more standard spells. Each one is based on your level. You get this at level 1, you get this at level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and so on and so forth. Alright, let's go back to the character page. Now to go back to the character page, you can either click this link at the bottom, or what I prefer to do, you can just click the logo at the top. It'll take you back to the character page. Alright, moving on to the skill tree. Now, there are five skills. If you're new, there actually should be only four. This last one, Acuity, only appears when you're at least level 10. But let's start with the top. We have Clairvoyance, which will increase your mental focus, which is basically your mana. We have Faith, that will increase your divine protection, basically your health. Pretty straightforward. Fortitude, this will increase your defense. Vigor, it will increase your offense. And Back to Acuity, this will increase your critical strike rating. Now, if you uh, are familiar with MMOs, you should already know what these things are. Uh, 
Obviously, uh, health is uh, displayed down here. This is divine protection. If it hits zero, you will die. This is mental focus. If it hits zero, you will be unable to attack anybody because you will not have any focus. It's used for other things as well. Now, if you click one, I already have an upgrade going. It has a cooldown, 169 minutes remain. You can only upgrade one at a time. And I've, right now, the highest thing I have is clairvoyance at rank 13. The, the higher the rank, the longer it will take. There is no cap on these, so you can keep upgrading in theory, but after a while, it will be impractical. Let's go back to the character page. And we'll go to the Temple Ward. Now here's an interesting page. On the left you see these are the names of all the gods on Eranor. In the middle you see how much favor you have with those gods, and on the right you see what special things will happen if you get to a certain favor with them. Now you get favor by burning candles, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. You can see how many candles you have right up here. There are elegant candles and there are sacred candles. Sacred are the best. So if you, for example, type in, let's, let's burn uh, 10 candles. I have 815 available. And there's Caradeth. Let's click Burn Candle Offering. And you can see the bar has gone higher. And you'll see right here, this has lit up because this is available. And it says I now have the Out of Combat spell Void Shock, which I'll show you later. Probably not in this video. But there's other things in here too. For example, with Loren Damu, we have cap on turns raised to 750. It's normally 500. Turn generation increase. Uh, focus potions can drop in battle. Increased critical hit. A chance for schematics to drop in battle. So some pretty cool stuff. Now if you die, you'll lose about 10% of your favor with the gods. So this is something you'll have to keep an eye on if you keep dying. Now related to that is the chandlery, and those candles we burned a moment ago, this is where you make them. Holy candles, you can uh, make them. They cost 10 shekels or one turn. You definitely want to uh, conserve your turns because those are valuable. You can use holy candles to craft either elegant candles or sacred candles. Elegant candles are worth 2 favor per uh, burning, and sacred candles are worth 21 favor. So sacred ones are a bit more economical if you're buying a large amount. Moving on, now we're going to the mining page, and this is the uh, basically the grinder page. Here, you can click on one of these nodes, and it will give you a chance to either get a useless rock, an energy crystal, or a ventium ore. And here, you can upgrade your pickaxe under there, or you can sell and buy ore here. But let's click one of these, see if we get anything. Ah, we do. Well, we have a really good pickaxe, so that's normal. And we get an ounce of unrefined Aventium. Now, as I said before, you can uh, go here and you can sell your Aventium if you don't need it, or you can use it to buy weapons or whatever. So let's go back to this page. And that's basically the top. Next in line, we see our resources. Shekels, which is the main currency. It goes back to the pay grade system. Candles which uh, goes back to the temple ward. Turns, which uh, can be used for a variety of things. You need, it to, you need them to attack. You need them to move your character. Uh, when you have an airship, you'll need them to move the airship. So they're basically used for everything. They're very valuable. There is a cap on them, a soft cap. That means basically you'll generate them up to 500, and after that you'll stop generating them. You can hold more if you get them through quests. As you can see, I have a lot more than 500. You can hold more, but you won't you won't keep automatically generating them past 500. Under that, we have player kills. Pretty self-explanatory. If you kill a player, you'll get one of those. Basically, a high score system. All right, and then we have fighting for. This is our uh, our reputation system. If you click on the link, you can see I'm fighting for the Northern Kingdoms. If you click on that, it takes you to another page. And you can see all the various nations and kingdoms and factions and your bar and your reputation with them. A lot of them have titles that you can win. For example, I have full uh, full reputation with the Abaddon Empire. Those are the demons. 
and you get the Destroyer of Worlds title. Some have other things like uh, the Church of the Eternal Sun. You get a title as well as a usability, Serona's Glory, which will restore every living being on Eranor to full divine protection. And there's other things as well. Let's back up. Below this, we have heart and soul. Now, those are pretty complicated, so we might have discussed those in another video. Basically, these decide how hard you hit and how hard other people hit you. And they also give a bonus to offense and to defense, as you can see here. Offense and defense are self-explanatory, I'm sure. Critical hit chance. That will basically give you a chance to hit an enemy uh, for 200% damage. And next in line we have experience and level. Again, self-explanatory. The level clap in Arenor is 10. Then we have our airship, which is the Black Pearl. Now, I don't want to go too much into this, but I am going to click it just so you see the page. And I recommend everyone join a, an airship because you get a lot of cool features here. Some really awesome stuff. And like I said, I don't want to go too far into it, but I did want to show it to you. There's a lot of good stuff here. But anyway, let's go back to the character page. The uh, airships, the airships are basically an entire another game, even though they are very highly related to this one. They are very different in some ways. All right, and then we have our, our rank, which is our, uh, our pay grade. So that's basically what I was showing you up here. And down here, this is the bottom. This will follow you around through no matter what page you are, except for airships. You get our view signature. Nothing really special here. You can have a signature for a form. It'll show, you some, show uh, everyone some of your stats. We have our coordinates. If you click that, you can see where your character is in Aranor. Right now, my character is in Indra and Karta, which is right here. Over here, we have a recruitment link. You can use this link on forums, and if someone clicks it, your character will get a free turn. You can only get up to two free turns a day, though. And we have basic info. I already showed you divine protection and mental focus. Here's alignment. And you can be either sinister, evil, neutral, good, or righteous, depending on what uh, what choices you make during the quest line. More research is down here. And that pretty much should explain the entire nav panel. Now, there'll be more in the next video, but hopefully you won't be completely lost now. You should know where everything is. And our next video, we'll talk more about these uh, panels here, and we might even go a bit into the quests. All right, I'll see you later.